Those earthquake aftershocks just continue to rattle Puerto Rico, and this morning we're getting an up-close and personal look at just how badly the island's main power plant was damaged. You saw a little bit in Christian's piece there, but here's another look. We're at Costa Sur power plant. No, I haven't. Uh, right now it's, it's, it's in very, very bad shape, so this is part of the, uh, the assessment as well. We lost two transformers as well. So that was Bronx Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. joining Governor Andrew Cuomo and other elected officials as they toured the island on Tuesday. Our cameras were there. The borough president now back from his trip joining us live in studio. So thank you for coming Good in this morning. morning. Thank you, you for having us. obviously saw a lot while you were down there. This is very personal for you. I want to get to that $8 billion in aid first that has just been announced it will be released Fingers crossed is what you're saying. Yeah, because we don't. This is all the president did, all the Trump did was sign uh, uh, the guidelines as to how they spend the money. The reality is that eight billion dollars, while it could be useful and it's going to be useful, is still a fraction of the amount of money that's needed in order for uh, the island to repair itself. And by the way, this is uh, money that was supposed to be assigned to Puerto Rico post Hurricane Maria, which right. is two years ago. So, uh, you know, and, and $8 billion is just a fraction of the $100 billion that the island actually needed. Uh, the, the, so we remain optimistic. We don't really trust uh, that the Trump administration it has their heart into mm -hmm. it. Uh, but I think that the political pressure, the, our presence over there, with the New York State delegation and other members of Congress, and the fact that they've been putting this out in the forefront, having PIX with us there and the media out there shining a spotlight right. on all this, I think is working and making sure that Congress and the administration realizes that the people of Puerto Rico are Americans who need this assistance. Absolutely. And, you know, New York has committed. You were there with the governor who committed to sending more help, even with that $8 billion mm -hmm. in aid. So what would that help actually look like? And when would it, when would it arrive? First of all, I, have to, I would be remiss if I didn't say that uh, Puerto Ricans and, and um, those of us who live over here and the folks on the island of Puerto Rico are totally... Uh, pleased and and fond of and and grateful of the work that Governor Andrew Cuomo has been doing. When there was the economic crisis, he was there. During Hurricane Maria, he was there. And now during the earthquake, uh, this when you look at earth, it's not just one earthquake. I, I need the viewers yeah. to understand this. This is a thousand, two thousand earthquakes, mini earthquakes, tremors, and aftershocks mm -hmm. since December 28th. That has taken an immense psychological toll. But immediate, and immediately what the governor has been able to do in these visits is to send a message to Puerto Ricans that you're not alone. Number two, have the New York power authority go and help with the assessing uh, in this case Costa Sur which provides anywhere between 30 and 40 percent of the power to the entire island they have been completely shut down the experts that we have here on the Gil Quinones will assist in making those assessments and hopefully rebuilding that power plant and then of course sending an army of engineers to do structural uh, mm -hmm. assessments to the um, to the homes that are over there that power plant raised issues after Maria or power as a whole right. raised issues on the island and an infrastructure your problem. Will the money that's hopefully coming, this $8 billion in aid, go mainly towards rebuilding the infrastructure and especially the power infrastructure that seems to be failing? Well, this is the reason why we've been so frustrated at Trump and his administration, because had this money, this $8 billion, the $20 billion that HUD is still holding on to, had, been, had it been allocated um, sooner, perhaps the infrastructure would have been strong enough uh, in order for the, the, this power plant to sustain the earthquakes. What are you looking from these presidential nominees? We heard the debate the other day, and Puerto Rico was not mentioned, or the earthquakes, during the debate. Would that surprise you? Well, uh, yes, and not, so not surprises me. It frustrates us. So, yes, I can sit here and, and speak of my frustrations and, and how um, we believe that Trump has mistreated uh, Puerto Ricans. But at the same time, here we are, we have a presidential uh, democratic mm -hmm. debate. While this is going on in Puerto Rico, I'm watching this from Puerto Rico. And yet, uh, many of, uh, of the conversation is about petty squabbling uh, among the Democratic candidates to who lied about what and, and yeah. their own personal differences. Uh, and, and while we understand that all of that has to happen, when those of us who are trying to make a decision as to who we support, we also want to hear what are you going to do for our family members? What are you going to do for 3.5 million Americans right. that have been beaten down psychologically? So many of the people who are living outdoors today 
it's not because their homes have been structurally compromised. It's because psychologically they just are fearful that, the, that their homes will fall under them if they are sleeping indoors. Hey, we appreciate you coming in today. We have a lot of resources on our website, pix11.com, mm -hmm. for how people at home can help. And speaking of looking ahead to the future, I cannot have you here without asking your future aspirations as a potential mayor yeah. uh, uh, candidate. I'm in that. I'm, I'm, I'm raising the funds, raising the profile, and going throughout the city of New York. I think that we've done a lot in the borough of the Bronx, one if not the most challenging part or uh, boroughs of the city. We've been able to create jobs, economic de uh, development, a lot of interest. We've been getting a lot of great write-ups, and I, I'm ready to do that for the city of New York. So you will be running. I have every intention to, yes. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned.